what's up guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so in this video I really had this plan of like carving this pumpkin and telling you guys the story of the uber and then I failed miserably so here is pumpkin first uber second and then me begging you all to like subscribe and share so Here's my pumpkin. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so you made it through pumpkin carving and now you get to the juicy stuff. All right, so one night, a long, long time ago, I went out with my cousin Kelsey and I wanna say my friend Veronica, maybe Dallas and Bailey. I don't know, I just remember there being a group of us and we went to a popular club downtown in Houston. Um, and I want to say that we like pre-gamed at my apartment, then just Ubered there, you know, just had a few more drinks, danced it out, whatever. And then it was time to go. So I remember standing outside and someone thought that maybe it was a good idea for, or maybe it was someone who was just being cheated. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I ended up ordering an Uber. Um, it took like two or three minutes, from what I can remember, for a car matching the description of our Uber to get there. Um, and then when they did, I was like, oh, cool. Like, this is the Uber. Let's just go. Like, time to go. You know, Uber's here. Taxi's here. Cab's here. Uber's here. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, Uber's here, let's head out. So I'm like walking to the front, which is weird. I never wanna take the front seat of an Uber. Like, I don't know. I was just 50 shades of messed up that night, I guess. Probably not really, Granny, Papa, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I was not that intoxicated. I was not like just belligerent. Like I knew where I was, I knew who I was with, I was like, coherent enough to know that I ordered an Uber and like matched the description of it and everything. I just, I don't know. I, who knows? <laughs> um, so I was like, Hey, this is it. And Kelsey's like, Hey, like, wait a second. You know, there's not even like an Uber sticker. You know, they usually have them in the front. Um, she was like, are you sure this is it? This doesn't look right. So, like something doesn't seem right about it. And I was like, well, it matches the description. The car does like the pers person's profile picture matches. Like, let's just go. And so I'm like at the door, like, oh, I have the door like open trying to like get in. And she's like, who are you here for? Like, and the lady's like not answering. She's just like, like looking around, I guess. Like, I probably just as confused as I was, hopefully. I don't know it was I don't know she just didn't she didn't know what she was doing it looked like um, it did look kind of sketchy uh, so we were like well I was I was just like girl get in we're going home like you got my address right no so Kelsey's like hey no something doesn't seem right like she could literally be like picking up girls for sex trafficking and at this point the lady's like how many people do you have too many like gotta go and so I was like Whoa! So she literally just like, I just like shut the door and she drives off. That's it. Like, my life could have changed in like a split second. It's kind of, I'm like taken back by it now because it's kind of scary to like think about, you know, you just never know. Anyway, so my suggestion to all human beings having to use Uber, hopefully, if you are like, even a few drinks in and you don't have a DD, hopefully you're using Uber or Lyft or like something, someone that you trust. Um, if you are using Uber or Lyft, then I suggest 
asking them who they're there for and don't ever say your name out loud first like always make them answer the questions um always make sure that the license plate matches the car description make sure they have some kind of like sticker or something saying who they're riding or who they're driving for um just be aware be aware of your surroundings i don't even know how that one slipped past me but it's pretty scary i do listen to a lot of true crime podcasts and i watch all kinds of like true crime shows but you really just never know just be aware especially if you are a young individual i mean doesn't matter male female black white hispanic like it doesn't matter people don't care these days they are they could possibly be out to get you you know you just never know you always be aware people don't discriminate anymore sex trafficking really doesn't discriminate anymore like people don't care everybody is a ted bundy until i was gonna say until you get to know him but i mean even if after i don't know just be careful okay don't be an allison that night be a kelsey I can't wait to have merch. Maybe one day I'll have a shirt that says be a Kelsey. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, be safe and I'm going to stop. Do you have anything that you would like to say to our subscribers? You want to tell them to like and subscribe? Say, listen, people, I need tree toes. Help pay mama's bills. Ha, ha, ha.